Hi, my name is Misty and I'm from Making Mamas and this is my tutorial for a wood and wool teether. So the idea is that there are two different surfaces for the baby to have a, a suck or a gnaw on a woolen surface or the wooden surface down here. To make your wool and wood teether you're going to need a few different bits and pieces. So first of all you need your wool. I'm going to use two different colours but you could just use one. In an ideal world you'd have a, a, a cotton wool um, which would mean that the baby wouldn't have any woolly bits in their mouth um, but I don't have any to hand so I'm just going to use this which is a type of acrylic yarn. Okay you're also going to need a crochet hook that matches your wool so I'm using formal wool and I'm going to use a 3.5 mil crochet hook. So next up you'll need a pair of scissors um, and also an embroidery um, needle as well and that's just to finish off with. It's got quite a big head on the end there because it needs to be able to fit the wool through as well. Finally you're going to need a wooden ring. So ideally you want something that's been untreated so your baby's not going to suck on any unnecessary varnish. I didn't have anything like that to hand so I'm going to use a ring from an old curtain rail. But if you want to get hold of an untreated ring you could get them from craft shops and you can order also them online. They're not too tricky to get hold of. Okay so to get rid of the varnish off this one I have given it a bit of a sand down. I'm just using some quite fine sandpaper and this is what the end result looks like. So I'm going to now use this to crochet onto um, and um, I'm going to give it a rub down with olive oil afterwards. I'm going to start by showing you how to do a slip knot, which is how we get the wool onto the crochet hook. So I'm going to drape the, the wool over my left hand. I'm going to hold it in place with my thumb. I'm going to wrap it around my top two fingers and cross it over there. I'm going to pull it through the back here. And that little loop there is what's going to go onto my crochet hook. And then I'm just going to let go and just pull tight, not too tight. So you've got about one centimetre loop on your hook. So now you've got your slip knot on your hook. So I'm going to show you how to hold the yarn correctly. Okay, so you've got your hook in your right hand and this is the yarn that's coming from the, from the ball. Okay, so I'm going to wrap this bit around my little pinky finger. I'm going to do it nice and slowly. Wrap it around, just like so. And then I'm going to take my pointer finger, this finger here, and I'm going to put it underneath. So you should end up with something that looks like this. There are lots of different ways of holding your yarn, but this is how I've learned how to do it. Let's make a start. So I'm going to put my hook that's got my um, wool attached to it via a slip knot. I'm going to put it through my ring. So I'm going to put it backwards through my ring. And now I'm going to pick up my wool in the way I showed you earlier. And I'm going to do one chain stitch. So it's a little bit different um, to doing um, a regular chain stitch just because you're attaching the wool to an item, in this case the ring. Okay, so I'm just going to use my thumb. I'm going to hold it um, in place at the bottom of the slip knot here. And my middle finger here is just holding the back of the yarn here. Okay, so I'm going to put my hook slowly under the yarn and bring it down nice and slowly. And at the last second, I'm going to sort of slightly turn inwards and bring it through my loop. Okay, so now I'm going to use a stitch called the slip stitch, um, and I'm going to um, slip stitch about halfway round my ring here. Um, so to slip stitch, I'm going to put my hook from front to back under the ring. So I'm going to go under. I'm going to hook my wool. I'm going to bring that back to the front. You've got to give yourself lots of slack in order to make this easy for yourself. 
and then I'm going to hook the wool here and then I'm going to bring it through these two loops here and that's one slip stitch so I'll show you that again so I'm going to put my hook from front to back underneath the ring and I'm going to hook my wool and bring it to the front of the ring key here is to make sure it's nice and loose so I've got two loops on my hook now I'm going to bring the wool over there it's called yarning over and I'm going to pull that through my existing loops on my hook and that's our second slip stitch so continue to work your way around your ring doing your slip stitches and every now and again stop and just squish them all together nice and close and just put this little ridge along the edge. I'm about halfway round now so what I'm going to do is snip my wool leaving a bit of a decent tail and then I'm just going to pull through my tail and pull and there we have it um, and now we are going to add the scalloped edges this bit round here so I'm going to take my hook and I'm going to put it under my first stitch and I'm going to pull my yarn over, pull my wool through and then pull my wool through here it can be a bit awkward this, I'm holding it in a slightly funny way so now I'm going to start my first scallop and the first scallop is a little bit different to the ones that follow so I've um, now going to chain one that's my first chain and now I'm going to double crochet into the same stitch so double crochet is a stitch that we haven't done yet so I'm going to take my hook and put it into that stitch there I'm going to yarn over I'm going to yarn over for the final time and pull it through both my loops so that's a double crochet and now I'm going to skip a stitch so I'm going to skip this stitch here and then move on to this stitch over here and now I'm going to do five treble crochets into the same stitch okay so to do a treble crochet you start off by yarning over and you go and go under here, yarn over again, pull through, yarn over again, pull through two, and yarn over finally. And that's one treble crochet. So I'm going to do that four more times. Start by yarning over, go through my stitch, yarn over, yarn over, and pull through two loops. and yarn over again so that's my second treble crochet I'm going to do my third yarn over go through yarn over three loops on my hook yarn over pull through yarn over and pull through so that's my third treble crochet yarn over for a final time and there we have five treble crochets so now we are going to skip another stitch I'm going to skip this stitch and then I'm going to do a double crochet into this stitch here and that will finish off my first scallop so a double crochet I'm going to go into my stitch under both bits And that's my first scallop. So I'm going to show you now how to do the second scallop. So the second scallop will be the same as the third, the fourth, the fifth, etc. So we're going to start by um, skipping a stitch. So I'm going to go into this one here. 
and then I'm going to do five treble crochets. one, two, and five. Okay, and now we're going to skip another stitch, and then we're going to finish with a double crochet. I need to go under here. This might be a bit of an awkward one. Some of them can be a bit awkward to go under. There we go. Yarn over and pull through. Okay, so that's our second scallop. I've scalloped all the way around the edge now, and so I'm going to take my scissors and I'm just going to snip my end over here, and then I'm going to pull through my little tail, which will a little knot there for me. I need to um, take my um, loose ends and weave them into my final piece. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to just do a little knot in them. Just a simple double knot. And then I'm going to thread them, hopefully through my embroidery needle. Now I'm going to weave them in and out of my work. Okay, I'm just going to go in there again. I think I'll just do that one more time. So we end up somewhere over here. And now I'm just going to snip it off. This is what we end up with, our wooden wool teether. I hope your little ones enjoy gnawing away at them.